what you're about to do right now is how to import from DWG file to AutoCAD 21. Basically, there are five methods of doing this, but we're going to focus our attention on drawing tools method. So, what to do first? You need to go to your worksheet. You create new worksheet. You right click on it. You create new independent worksheet. You name it anything. You can name it floor. Then you click create. So it will display the one you create. That. So now you go to your drawing tools. Click on the drawing tools. Click on this point of origin. This point of origin will display your DWG file work. Now you select the one you want to use. Let's make use of this floor, this particular floor. But I want to explain something first before we proceed. You see, your DWG file, your existing DWG file that you want to import, you need to understand that this DWG file need to be on the same scale like look at this scale scale 1 is to 100 then your your archi card work need to be in scale 1 is to 100 too scale 1 is to 100 if you want to make use of scale 1 is to 1 remember your your, your dwg file need to be in scale 1 is to 1 too before make use of it like that so now since you are making use of scale 1 is to 100 you need to make your I can work to be in scale 1 is 200. If not so, the work will not be in the same proportion. It will be bigger than or smaller than the normal work. So now you go to your DWG file, close it, you close it, then you go to your ArchiCAD work, the same procedure. Click on your drawing tools, click on this one, it will display your work. Then we'll go back to our floor want to import double click on it so to show you which unit you want to use so but this one since our dwg file and our archie card are on the same scale let's make use of millimeter so you place paste place it it's updating it's updating so now the, the, the updating is done what you need to do is because you're not seeing it on the screen you go to fit to window you click on it it will show you your work as you can see this is the work so you crop to the one you want to use to the particular work you want to import look at it it's the crop this one is too big the crop again the crop again fit in your work crop again so look at it now so now you need to find a point of origin again so that you place this work there you press ctrl if you highlight it then press ctrl d to drag your work so I'm dragging this work now i'm looking for that point of origin so that i can place my work there okay look at it close so paste my work now so next thing to do now is for you to go to your ground floor, click on the ground floor, click on your worksheet you created, then sh show trace as reference, show as reference uh, as trace reference. You click on it, it will display your work you import. Now on your normal ground floor, that's what you're seeing now from your ground floor because you have imported it already. So what you need to do now, you need to draw this thing, but remember that this our work is in 150. So you go to design, click on wall. You set set your wall. This one is in 300. Now we need to set it to 150. 150. Click on the wall. So let us start tracing. Now we are going to trace only the external wall because we are just using this to demonstrate how it will look like. Let's put it on continue wall. Continue wall. So let's delete this. So, I 
Yeah, we are still tracing it. We are still on the process of tracing. Still tracing it. Yeah, we're still tracing it. We're close. So now we are done with the tracing. Now we're, as I said earlier, we're tracing only the external wall. But as you can see, some of the window are not showing, the window and door are not showing. So you need to click on your work. Now you go to, now choice of material will play one part here. What you need to do is that, go to your materials, choose S-Piece. Click on the S-Piece and click OK. Now this S-Piece will show every part that is, because the S-Piece is transparent. Where you are seeing window, it will show you where to place your window. So now let, let us use window tools. Let us know. We'll use it like that without setting it. Okay, let's set it to one two, one two by one two window. Then we'll set here nine hundred. Then we are done with it. So where you see one two window, you place it there. So this window is big. Yeah, it's one two, one two window, one two window. One two window, one two. Let's place it on like this. We'll adjust it because there there is no wall. Let's place this on like this to we'll adjust it. Um, way again here too. Let's place it like that. We'll adjust it. So let's adjust this window. Adjust. Let's adjust this window too. And just let's adjust this window too. Adjust it too. Now we are done with some of this window. So now we need to click on window again. Put toilet window. Put 600 by 600. 600. By 600. Then we'll come to this place. We'll put one five. Hide from the ground. Then come to the toilet window. Put one. Click on it. Click on this toilet window too. Click on all your toilet window. Click on this toilet window too. That's all we're having. That's all the window we're having. Now let's go to our 3D. Click F3 will show you 3D. F3. Now this is what we're having. But you see this one is transparent because our choice of material is on S piece. So let's click on the materials, all the materials. Then you go to your setting. Click on materials. Go to your wall. Click on it. Go to setting, then you change the materials to brick or anything. Let's use brick finish. You can use anything you want to use. Then it will change to solid form now. So let us rotate it. This is what we are having. But you see how we located where we are going to put our window is based on the S space that we use. Our door, you can put anything you want to put. The space will show you from the floor plan, it will display, it will make everything to be transparent so that you can see through. So now let's go to floor plan. You click F2. F2 will take you to your floor plan. Now let's put our okay let me leave it like that so that i'll just put roof so that it will beautify our work so roof now let's adjust this click on the plus 
to add this roof. Click on it. Sorry. Click on the plus, add it. Click on the minus to remove this part. Click on it again. Add this part. Click this H. You click on minus to remove this part. You click on. Okay, we are done. Click your F3 to see to view your 3D. Look at what we are having. Let's zoom down. Look at what we are having. Look at what I have. So that's it for today.